Here's another fun and spicy poisonous plant, the mountain laurel. So this is the mountain laurel. It is a very nice bush with very, very pretty flowers. And it is often used as landscaping in ornamental gardens and stuff. It is a pretty popular um, ornamental plant because just look at it. That's, that's a very nice looking plant. It is also fun and toxic. So there are two main toxic compounds in this, grayanotoxin, which is a neurotoxin found in plants like this, also in the rhododendron family. So basically what grayanotoxin does is it bugs out the nervous system, it can cause all sorts of fun things, um, in small doses it can be used recreationally as a drug, don't recommend it because that's not good, but yeah, neurotoxin, we love those. The other main toxic compound is a um, glycoside called arbutin, which inhibits the tyrosine enzyme, so stops the production of melatonin, which can be occasionally used as a skin lightening agent. Again, I do not recommend this. That's not something we should probably be doing. All parts of this plant are toxic, including the flowers, the leaves, the twigs, even the pollen, and also the nectar, which can lead to some interesting things. So granotoxin is the cause of something very interesting called mad honey intoxication, which is basically where bees pollinate a toxic plant such as this. This also happens with oleander too, but the bees pollinate it and bring back the uh, nectar to make honey, but that honey is toxic due to the fact that it was made from the nectar of a pretty poisonous plant. And sometimes in lots of places that honey is made on purpose because it has some very interesting effects and it is again used as a recreational drug. I don't recommend it. Not from personal experience, it's just I avoid poisonous plants to the best of my ability. So symptoms of poisoning from the mountain laurel Include there's there's lots of people in my apartment are being weird, <laughs> but there's lots of interesting side effects. So some side effects of this include gastrointestinal issues, so like nausea, vomiting, um, pain, all that. Also includes vomiting and diarrhea, which is pretty common with lots of poisonous plants, but it has other effects too. Those being things like your eyes and nose watering, excessive salivation, leading to excessive swallowing, as well as um, can include other things such as dizziness, um, disorientation, um, discoordination, is that a word? Being uncoordinated. Also causes um, respiratory and cardiac problems, so your heart's doing weird things and difficulty breathing. And in more severe cases, it can lead to convulsions, so like seizure, se seizures, muscle spasms, etc., as well as paralysis and weakness. So weakness being less severe, but like not being able to move your muscles properly, eventual paralysis, and in large enough doses, death. This is a decently quick poison too, as symptoms begin showing in about six hours, so not the fastest, but also not like annoyingly slow. I couldn't find an actual lethal dose, the internet wouldn't really tell me that, but it's not a whole lot. So yeah, very interesting, very toxic, it can have recreational drug uses, but I would say probably don't do that. It's also a pretty common ornamental plant. so. Get it in your garden.